I hope you guys are well. Today I'm just gonna bring you along for my Sunday home reset routine, show you the ways that we like to get ready for the week ahead just to have a smoother transition into the start of the week. We have a grocery haul coming any minute now. I'm gonna share our meal plan for the week to give you some dinner ideas for your family that your kids will probably actually eat. We're gonna do some cleaning. We're going to do some planning for the week. So just all the things we do to get ready for the week. If you're new, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and stick around. Let's get started. Let's go over the meal plan for dinners this week. So it is Sunday right now. So we're gonna be doing some chicken tortilla soup in the crock pot as soon as groceries get here. Part of this video, I will get the dinner in the crock pot with you and I'll share that recipe. It is a super simple, low ingredient crock pot recipe and it is so tasty. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. Monday, we're gonna just do some burgers and fries. It's summer, we're eating a lot of burgers and hot dogs, nothing new. Tuesday, I'm gonna do a barbecue chicken in the crock pot. Again, so easy, you just take chicken breast, put some barbecue sauce on it, cook it on low for four hours, shred it, put it on some buns, you're good to go. We'll do some corn on the cob with that. Wednesday, I'm going to be getting ready because we're doing, we have big plans for 4th of July and then Friday, we're doing a road trip to go visit my best friend and her family. And so I know Wednesday, I'm just gonna be running around like a crazy person. I'm gonna bring you along for that journey because we're gonna be cleaning and packing and just resetting the house before I leave for the trip, before we leave for the trip, I'm not going by myself. So I know Wednesday a frozen pizza is just gonna be the perfect dinner because I'm gonna be tired, Stephen will be tired. So that is the plan. I like to think ahead when I plan our dinners for the week. Do we have a sports practice? Do we have games? Like what is going on each night? so that I can truly stick to what the plan is. We don't have the last minute, everybody's tired, let's order takeout situation. I'm really trying to avoid that. And so planning our meals ahead is just a good strategy and it works really well for our family. So then Thursday we have the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July for anybody celebrating. I know this video will come out after the 4th of July, but I hope you had a great time. We have a barbecue for that, so I don't need to worry about planning dinner. And then Friday we leave for our just weekend road trip. So we don't need to plan a dinner for that. So that is our dinner plan for the week. Groceries are here, so let's go grab those. Okay, we're gonna start with the frozen foods because I feel like the summer heat was already causing them to melt. So I wanna get go through these and then I'm gonna put them away really quickly and then we'll continue. But these power flapjacks from Kodiak Cakes are Steven and I's just like absolute favorite right now. There's 14 grams of protein and I think they're really tasty. I cook them in the toaster, which I think is the key to success because it makes them like a little bit crispy on the outside and then perfect on the inside. But I really, really like these. So I got two boxes. It's just an easy summer breakfast when we're on the go, leaving for parks early in the morning. So so I just really, really like those. This is for our burger night. This is for our dinner tonight. It's gonna to be a part of our chicken tortilla soup. Here is our frozen pizzas for that night. We have half of our family loves pepperoni, half of our family loves cheese. Since we have a larger family, we will definitely eat both of those. These just look so good. I love the Yasso brand. I've never had the strawberries and cream flavor, but it just seemed really refreshing and tasty. So when I want a little treat, when the kids are having ice cream, I can grab one of these. So I'm really excited to try them. Let me know in the comments if you've tried this flavor and what you thought. They do have one that has chocolate with strawberry on the inside, and I'll think I'll try that one next. And then here's our fries for our burger night. We love to do sweet potato fries. All right, I'm gonna go put these away really quick and then we'll pick up with the rest. Okay, we're back. So for our chicken tortilla soup, we're gonna do the reduced fat Fiesta blend cheese. This one is so good from Walmart. Have you tried it yet? And then the kids have been getting into yogurt parfaits for breakfast and snack and I am here for it. So I got them some Greek vanilla yogurt. So there's a little bit of extra protein in it. 
Steven needed some half and half for his coffee. I already had a little bit left of my larger container, so I just got a smaller one to get us through the week since we're traveling our milk for the week. This is probably the smallest quantity of iced coffee you've ever seen me order, but we already have a lot in our fridge. So this is just in case. Some eggs, pickles. I normally get the Grio brand, uh, brand, but they didn't have them. So I'm trying something new because I'm gonna be doing some burger bowls this week for my lunches. I got some turkey burgers that I'm excited to try. So I wanted to get some pickles and then also for our burger night that we're having. The boys have been really into BLT sandwiches and they actually prefer the shredded lettuce versus just like a romaine if I cut that for them or even an, just a, like a chunk of iceberg. They want it to be shredded. So I went ahead and just took a shortcut this week and got it already shredded. Peaches. Oh, the peaches have been so good this season. Have you guys had some? These, um, I typically don't love to get produce from Walmart. I've been really disappointed with it for the past year but we were in a desperate state. I don't have time to go to another store today, so I got some peaches. I'm hoping they feel, I don't think they're ripe yet, but they look really good. So fingers crossed, we got some hummus for Steven. He likes the roasted garlic. I like to do the roasted red pepper, but I still have some, so I'm good to go. These grapes just look so good. So yay for good grapes. There's some good produce right there. Some corn on the cob for dinner this week bananas my kids have finally started to like bananas again so i am so excited for that i loaded up since i'm gonna be doing some turkey burger salads this week i got some arugula i love arugula and then just a spring mix for me here is the bacon for the boys to do their blts i just get the one that's already cooked so i can pop it in the microwave real quick or the air fryer for them some chicken for dinners this week some deli turkey meat since I got a little bit of stuff to kind of pre-plan for 4th of July, cause we're going to fit some fireworks, so we gotta pack a lot of snacks and stuff and our road trip, I kind of loaded up on snacks and I tried to just get stuff that's just a little bit on the healthier side. So the Good Crisp brand, Sour Cream and Onion Classic. Steven, fun fact about my husband, Steven, he eats a bowl of Honey Nut Cheerios every single morning. So we are always well stocked up on that and Rory loves it too. We got some Sun Chips. These are so good. That reminds me of my childhood. Popcorners, trying to just a little bit something healthier. Pretzels, always a staple in our house. We need to restock some goldfish. So we are definitely gonna be restocking all of these crunchy snacks. I was running low on my Lily's chocolate chips. I like to put these in a yogurt bowl for my dessert at night. So peanut butter has been my go-to. Haven't had white chocolate in a while, so I wanted to add that to the mix. I love this protein cereal from Catalina Crunch. I have this almost every single day for a snack. This is my favorite granola. The Purely Elizabeth is my favorite brand, but then lately I've been loving the chocolate chip cookie granola. It is such a treat and it's also on the healthier side. These are a special treat for our road trip and for 4th of July when I pack the kids just their little snack boxes. I wanted to add some fig bars. It's been a while since they've had them and they have been asking for them for quite some time. So yay for that. We normally get potato rolls, but lately Liam has been saying he doesn't like them. So I wanted to switch it up and we got some Hawaiian hamburger buns. Walmart is always out of stock of these. So I was excited that I could actually get them. So we're gonna try those. This is our typical bread. Let's talk about watermelons for a minute. I looked up all the internet hacks for how to pick out the perfect watermelon. I went to the store to get it. I looked for the big yellow spot, hitting it, all the things, and it was super mushy. So I need you to let me know in the comments, how do you pick out the perfect watermelon? Obviously we didn't have a choice this time because it was grocery delivery. I don't even see a yellow, oh, there's a yellow spot. Oh good, there's hope you guys, it might be a good one. But let me know in the comments, how do you pick out the perfect watermelon? Because I was so disappointed that it was mushy and I love crispy watermelon. I needed some more Metamucil. I drink this every single night with my emergency. And then this is just, this is the only type of gum that I like and my kids always steal it. So I load it up, Steven likes it too. If you're a gum person, let me know your favorite flavors, but this is the only one that I like. Lately, I have not even been liking mint gum and I don't really chew it that often. It's just sometimes when I'm trying to avoid my sweet tooth, I'll have this after a meal and it kind of just helps me sustain a little bit longer. But there's all the groceries. We are going to put all the refrigerated items just in the fridge really quick. Get all the pantry items, just put on the pantry countertop. I wanna clean the kitchen before we put everything away. need to stay in the fridge? I can never remember that. Alexa, does corn in the cob need to stay in the fridge? It does, it's for anybody wondering. 
I love it when Alexa gives a little something extra when you're talking to her. All right, we're gonna start by getting the dishes done for our cleaning. And I wanted to show you guys, I just stocked up on more of these. As you guys know, I had a four pack that I always fill with snacks for the kids when we go to the pool, when we go on road trips, but a four pack wasn't enough because I would fill it with fruit and then we'd go to the pool and I'd have to use Ziploc baggies for snacks and I really don't wanna use Ziploc baggies. I'm trying to decrease that. So I loaded up, they had a pack of, I actually think it's a 12 pack because I was able to fit some in the dishwasher last night. I think I'm just gonna hand wash these or maybe put them in the dishwasher, but I wanna get them ready to go for 4th of July and then especially for our road trip. But I really like these containers if you're looking for something. They're very durable. They are made out of, I think it's, I can't, it's like a wheatgrass. It's something, or straw. It was something very unusual that I hadn't heard of, but they're not plastic. So I really, really like them. I'll link them for you guys. All right, I just looked it up because I didn't want to tell you the wrong thing. It is wheat straw that they're made out of, which is a natural material. So yay for that. All right, we're going to get dishes done, get the kitchen counters cleaned off, and keep going. Okay, while I get started on these dishes, let's help each other out in the comment section. I want everybody to share your go-to dinner that you make for your family when you are just exhausted. I already shared with you, frozen pizza is definitely a go-to for us. Uh, cereal is a go-to. Uh, what my kids love is when I surprise them and we do what I call snack night or little plate night where I essentially just put out all the fruit that we need to eat up, um, some hummus with some pretzels and things like that. Just just a plate of snacks and they love it and they have no idea that I am doing that because I am just truly exhausted. It cannot fathom turning on the stove or the oven or thinking beyond all the snacks in the house. So let's share in the comments because I know we all have those days. We all have those nights. We could have the best laid meal plan ever but we can't always anticipate. Maybe your child gets sick and you're with a sick kid all day. Maybe work went later than you thought it would. So there are definitely those nights where we just need those quick go-to dinners for our family Bonus points if it's healthy, but also judgment-free zone here. We keep it positive in my comment section. So just share because you never know who you're going to help out. I want to give a quick thank you to all of you guys for being so understanding and so kind about me missing my Tuesday upload this past week. It will rarely happen, but I had the opportunity to spend the day with our oldest son, Charlie. Liam and Rory were in a cultural arts camp last week, which by the way was amazing and they had the best time and they learned so much, but Charlie was our only kid that was home. And so as you guys know, Charlie is going off to middle school this year and I am feeling so many feelings about it. I'm very excited for him, but I'm just just, my mama heart is just really struggling with the change and so having the opportunity for Steven and I to spend the day with Charlie I had to take advantage and I'm you know I try to limit my filming to two days a week and so I had to give up that one day of filming that I was doing in order to go spend the day with Charlie so obviously Charlie gets priority on that and so I appreciate you guys understanding and we had the best time we went to an indoor well bowling is always indoors but it's like this indoor arcade bowling alley but it's a type of like fancy bowling alley where you can order real food 
food and they bring it to you. And then we did the arcade. Um, I learned that I am terrible at bowling. I always thought that I was kind of decent at it. Nope, not true. I was terrible, but I'm actually really good at arcade games still. Skee ball is my jam. The basketball shooting game. I dominated Steven and Charlie in that one, but they definitely beat me up bowling. So that's okay. It evened out, but we had the best day. And so thank you so much for understanding. I am definitely working on that balance this summer, having all my kids home and just trying to prioritize obviously my family, but I also get a lot of joy from this YouTube channel and hearing from you guys and connecting with you. So again, just a big thank you for understanding. I don't anticipate missing any more upload this summer, but I really appreciate you guys understanding. And having that one-on-one -on -one time with Charlie really reminded me how important it is to set aside time to just be with my kids individually. It could be as simple as a walk with them first thing in the morning or in the evening after dinner or taking them for ice cream by themselves because they definitely disclose more information when it's just you and them. But it's just also, I feel like, just a really important thing that I always say I want to do. I always say I want to do almost like a date night with each of my individual children once a month. But then it's so easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day routine and the things and then it kind of gets pushed to the side because, I mean, we obviously spend spend time with our children at home individually, but it's very different when you kind of have a dedicated set aside time. So I am going to start to prioritize that. And I know my husband Stephen wants to do that as well. And I think it's something fun that the kids can look forward to that we can look forward to. And let me know in the comments if you already do that and how often you do it and any tips you have for that, because I just think it's a way that I can help my kids feel special and also just have that one-on-one -on -one dedicated bonding time with them. All right, before I clean off this counter, I have to show you the cookies from last night. Steven and I did a date night and we ordered crumble cookies to have afterwards. Oh my gosh, they were so good. You can already see the favorite. So I'll start over here. This was a honey bun flavor, I believe. It was so good. This was a lemon cupcake flavor, peanut butter and jelly, and then a chocolate chip, just like their normal chocolate chip, but it came warm, which you know upped the game. It was so good. I love crumble cookies. Do you have one near you? It is just such an addiction, so it's not a good thing probably, but they are so good. We probably order them at least once a month. It used to be more than that, but we are trying to limit it, but they are so tasty, and I love that they change their flavors every week. to use my little mini handheld vacuum for step one when I'm cleaning the stove. I had a repairman come one time and he warned me that even a grain of salt can cause a huge scratch on your stainless steel stove. So I wanted to point that out to you guys. I wasn't just trying to be extra with my vacuum. It truly is a valuable tool and I always do that first to just get all the crumbs and all the things up and then I take a damp microfiber cloth and I'll kind of scrub any food that's stuck on and then I go to town with my Dawn Power Wash. I love I love Dawn Power Wash. I use it in the majority of my cleaning. I love to have one product that I can use all over the place to save money, save space, not like having a million cleaning products. Find something you love that works for a lot of things and then use it everywhere. That's my advice. And for me, that's Dawn Power Wash. And, so, and also Mrs. Meyers cleaner. Probably those two are my always my go-to. But I'll just scrub it on. It really does such a good job. And then I will take a dry microfiber cloth for the last step and just kind of scrub up all those bubbles and everything. I don't feel the need to rinse it or get any of the soap up. Honestly, it just all comes up on the cloth and you can see it just looks so shiny and so nice. And so I always follow that step. When I do a deep cleaning, I'll take the burners off. But today I just wanted to get everything wiped down and just reset for the week. I've been waiting all my life for someone like you, like you.
Part of my Sunday reset routine definitely includes laundry. I'm showing you our laundry schedule. So on Sunday, I do Rory and Charlie's laundry. And this is my first time. I am very new to the laundry schedule life. And I gotta say, I really like it. Now, I have not been perfect about it. I tend to skip the beds when I'm supposed to be doing the bed, like linens. Uh, towels definitely need to be done more than one day a week. And I need to actually just make it on one of the days where I don't have anything because we're using a ton of towels this summer because we go to the pool all the time and I'm somebody who likes to wash the towels every time we go to the pool because of the chlorine. So I'm going to get the laundry going and set a timer on my watch and then we'll get dinner going in the crock pot. Okay before we restock the pantry items let's get dinner in the crock pot. So for the chicken tortilla soup it is so simple. I do a can of petite diced tomatoes, about a whole carton of chicken stock or chicken broth, one can of the red enchilada sauce. Our family does not like things spicy, so I get mild, but if your family can turn up the heat, by all means, get the medium. Some chicken breast, two to three, works perfect. Bag of frozen corn, you could also do a can of corn, and then some cilantro. If your family doesn't like the flavor of cilantro, you could omit that, but I just put everything in the crock pot. It is truly just a dump and go. When we get closer to dinner time, I'll shred the chicken and I'll show you what everything looks like, but it is so good. I'm laying down at the compartment Oh no, I see you only when you're balling Oh no, I don't even care to doubt I see you in the wild Cause this time I will choose you, yeah I'll choose You know exactly how to look like this Holding in a bag full of goods and needs I need a night like this Cause you're using it. 
wanna share a quick, easy lunch idea with you. It's the Taylor Farms Everything Chopped Kit. One of you recommended this to me and thank you so much. It is so delicious. And then I'm just gonna air fry some of these Tyson rotisserie chicken breast strips to go on top. And it is just a nice, quick, easy, and tasty lunch that's healthy. I love salad kits. I think they're such an easy way to have a healthy meal and you can add whatever protein you want to them. And it's just a complete meal and they're so delicious. The Taylor Farms Mediterranean Crunch one is my absolute favorite. Okay, I am showing you now probably the most important part of Stephen and I's weekly reset on Sunday. We always sit down together at some point during the day look at the week ahead, figure out what's going on at work for Steven, meet extra meetings he may have, everything with the kids. Do we have any pickup or drop-offs that we have to do? Are there any play dates? Do we have any games or sports practices or anything like that? And we just touch base. We figure out who's going to be doing what. We write everything down so we don't forget. And I just love it because it's good communication for Steven and I. And it also just feels like we have our partnership. We're helping each other out. We're working together. And most importantly, we're just communicating really well as a couple and it's just a huge part of our Sunday reset routine I love doing that with him and then now we're back to the laundry that laundry game is strong today I'm moving Charlie's over I am almost done and what's nice is Charlie will put his own laundry away and so will Rory and so will Liam so it's really not that bad I just do their laundry and then I just throw it on their bed and it's just a part of their weekly chores they'll get it put away for me and then also we're finishing up our uh, crock pot recipe so we are shredding the chicken I normally take a meat chopper and just shred the chicken and side but since it is a heavy broth soup it's just a little bit harder to reach the chicken so this time I just pulled it out and used a fork to shred it and this soup is so flavorful it is so healthy 10 out of 10 recommend it for you guys I will put that recipe in the video description box for you I hope that you all enjoyed today's video I hope it gave you some new fresh ideas to help your Sunday reset go a little bit smoother for the week don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time bye I leave the TV on, I'm done with yourself.